So the patient scenario is of a 36-year-old Caucasian male who was referred to a center of excellence for sarcomas who was diagnosed with a high-grade pleomorphic sarcoma that was localized to the retroperitoneum. The unique scenario in this situation was that the tumor, based on its location and involvement of vasculature, was not amenable to surgical resection and was therefore deemed unresectable. So the prognosis for sarcomas really depends on the treatment modalities that can be used and the treatment modalities that are used. So for this patient, because he had an unresectable tumor, you would categorize him similarly to how you would categorize someone with metastatic disease. And one would think that the average prognosis would be about 16 to 17 months. And that would mean that for the 50% of patients would live beyond 17 months and 50% of patients would live less than 17 months. So the goals of therapy for this patient are a little bit unique. Um, so for an unresectable tumor, the question is, do the surgeons feel that if you modified the location of the tumor or the size of the tumor, would you actually be able to achieve resectability? If the answer to that is not, which in most situations it is not, then essentially what you're trying to achieve for this patient is quality of life, prolongation of life, you would hopefully be able to shrink the tumor if he's having any symptoms to improve his quality of life. And then essentially you would hopefully be able to find a treatment modality that would stabilize the disease or shrink the disease, prevent growth, perhaps change the biology of the tumor so it becomes less aggressive, and essentially allow him to live as long a life as possible. The standard treatment options for patients who present with unresectable soft tissue sarcomas is to use chemotherapeutic agents. And so for the first line therapy, one would use a doxorubicin-based therapy. And preferably, probably in this situation, one would use the addition of olorotumab. If we look historically at the data, there are other combinations that can be utilized, including a doxorubicin with ifosamide or single agent doxorubicin. And then depending on where the patient is treated, perhaps one would also use um, gemcitabine and taxotere as a first line agent.